Investment bank UBS moved in after the market closed yesterday for a big bite of breads and spreads manufacturer Goodman Fielder. It's been confirmed that Singapore-based Wilmar International, which already owns 5% of Goodman Fielder shares, was behind the raid. The agribusiness giant is now Goodman's biggest shareholder and it's hungry for some more of the action. Emily Stewart reports. Goodman Fielder's shares rose 30% as talks swirled of raiders taking a slice of the bread maker. I certainly think that uh, we'll see a slight change in sentiment towards Goodman Fielder, which was pretty negative over the, the past 12 months. Wilmer International has confirmed it paid $115 million for a 10% stake. Goodman Fielder was keen to play it down, saying in a statement to the ASX that it hasn't received any takeover offers. But Wilma says it's still deciding whether to increase its shareholding. Goodman Fielder has said that they're uh, interested in divesting the Integro business, which is mainly the edible oils uh, manufacturing uh, side of, of the company, as well as milling in New Zealand, both of which are agribusinesses, which uh, I think Wilma could be interested in. It's a tough market for Australian food manufacturers, and earlier this month, Goodman Fielder posted a huge 77% drop in half year results. The level of pressure on Australian food and grocery manufacturing companies has never been higher. We're seeing significant profit downgrades from a number of people and a lot of this is due to the downward pressure on margins that Coles and Woolworths have really um, put into the industry as a result of their price war. Wilmar is already a player in the Australian food market, paying $1.75 billion for sugar miller CSR in 2010. And despite the difficult trading environment, there's been a spate of Asian companies buying up local manufacturers. I think there's a number of companies in the Asian space that do have uh, money to spend. They see the Australian economy as uh, reasonably solid. They take a very long-term view on, uh, on their acquisitions. Um, Australian fund managers uh, tend to look on a shorter-term viewpoint. Um, and, and therefore so we might look at it and say we're happy to crystallise good returns now um, even though we recognise that we might be foregoing longer term better returns. And with food manufacturers ripe for the picking, expect to see more Asian investors in the local market.